In today's how-to video, we'll be demonstrating how to download Office and Window ISOs from Microsoft. Let's get started. Now, we're not going to use any kind of VMs, though we will be using Screen Capture as well as Windows 7 as our test bed. To begin, we'll go ahead and open up a web browser. Uh, any browser will do, but we'll be using Firefox. In the search, we want to type Windows Download Tool. Now, the link that we'll be looking for actually has the name of the tool in it, and it is spelt H-E-I-D-O-C dot net. That is the tool we want, so we'll go ahead and click on this link. So I did not create this tool, nor do I take credit for it, uh, but working in IT, I find it very useful. Now that we have the link open, uh, it has some information here on its uh, features and its requirements. So you can go ahead and read up on those and we'll click on the Windows ISO downloader.exe file. We're going to go ahead and click save and we'll save it right in our downloads folder. With the download complete, we'll go ahead and open up the file. Uh, this file runs on its own, so it doesn't need to be installed. So we'll go ahead and click on Run. This donation window will pop up. Uh, if you'd like to donate, you can click on Yes. If not, just go ahead and click on No. So the file will go ahead and open up, and this is the download tool. Now we'll go ahead and, and do a Windows 10 download and I'll show you how to do it directly from uh, Microsoft or you can do it from the tool, it doesn't much matter. So we'll click on Windows 10. And now this pop down will select our edition. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of ones up here so we'll just uh, go ahead and click on the newest one which is the uh, April Home and Pro edition. We'll click on confirm. And uh, now it's going to ask us our language, so obviously we'll click English and click confirm. And now it's going to ask us if we want the 64 or the 32 bit version. Um, what we can do is actually, if we come over here, we can click and copy the link. So if we copy the link, it'll tell us that it's been copied to the clipboard, so we'll click on OK and we can actually come up and open up a new tab and paste this link right into here. And as you can see, it says right here, softwaredownload.microsoft.com. So this is right from the Microsoft website. So we'll go ahead and click go. And there we go, we got the Windows 10 English 64-bit. And we'll go ahead and save this file. We'll save it in our downloads. Depending on how fast your internet is, will determine how long it will take to download. Now, as these ISOs are for Microsoft, you will need product keys to activate them. So, using this tool, you can download uh, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. Uh, you can also download a bunch of Office versions as well. Uh, you just go through and select your options and then you can select the copy link and put it right in your web browser. Uh, you can also download from the tool but I suggest doing the link. And that's how you get your Windows ISOs and your Office ISOs from Microsoft. Knowledge is power.